All right, here we go. Welcome to another tie of the week live here Sunday nights on YouTube. Getting things set up, running a little bit late. I was actually. All right, we're going to try this again. I'm afraid our live stream might get a little finicky. And if it does, I apologize. But we're going to press on. Um, I'll give it another minute here. I don't have my watch, and the clock that I do have appears to be running quite fast. Let's see, I need to grab. I'm gonna go for a dark tan thread. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Ben, hello from Illinois. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Glad you could join. Or actually, that's a two-ton. Yeah, I do want to step that down a little bit. We're going to be tying, uh, I don't know, a variation of, if not as close to, as what was it, the Butch, the Butch Caddis. This is something I believe uh, is a Kelly Gallup pattern. So we're going to do our best to... See what we come up with tonight. I did uh, do a little bit of research on it, and we're gonna do our best, as always. So, I don't know, what time do we got? Is it time to go? Is it time to tie? Are all my people here? Let's go ahead and do a, we'll do roll call. Who's there, who's there? How you doing, everybody? Let's all just take a minute, check in, and let me know. Let's check in by letting me know what the last fly you tied was. What's the last fly that you tied? Let's hear it. We're going to use a dry fly hook. This is the Moonlit ML052, size 14. Gallup says he ties these anywhere from 16 to 18. And bigger. A double bunny. Awesome, Jimmy. Thank you for checking in. Let's go ahead and get our hook fastened. And I need to grab a little bit of shook yarn. And I don't know. I think I kind of want to I'm gonna go orange. I'm going to add a little orange. Orange. Hot orange. Not a rusty orange, but a hot orange. All right. So let's get this thing started. I'm using a uh, 70 denier UTC dark brown thread. And we'll just cast that on. And trim our excess. I can get my... The last fly that Jess tied was a uh, pink squirrel. Hello, Jimmy. We're checking in. Uh, well, the question is, is what is the last fly that you tied? Well, actually, we need to zoom in a little bit here. We got Ken. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. All right, so I have a little bit of orange shuck yarn from the, the Fly Tires Dunzion. We're going to trim off a strand. One strand, we can work with that. I'm going to leave myself a little bit, a little bit ahead because we're going to actually end up folding that back. To the bend. To the bend. Jimmy's last fly was the slum buster. Do a little, little tail. Just like so. And I don't remember, did this have a, oh, this didn't have any. Is there a ribbing in this? I don't remember. All I know is I need some dubbing. 
let's go ahead and dig out some dubbing. We're digging everything out as we go, folks. This is unrehearsed, unrehearsed action here. I like... This is it. When you have drawers and drawers of dubbing, sometimes it takes you a second to... There we go. This looks pretty good. We're going to go with a dark brown. This is an Antron hair blend. I really like this. A little old school. A little sparkle to it, even. Just a little bit of sparkle to it. PJ has been tying some big butt ass. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and just get a little dubbing on here. And actually, we want to work our way towards the back. And we'll just double a little body. I like that. Build up on that a little bit. Maybe not a lot of bit, just a little bit. And trim our underwing just a little bit shorter. Ooh la la, I like it. Hey Tom, welcome. You tied a bee fly. Nice. Yum yum bumblebee bumblebee. If you hear any crinkling, I'm uh, eating some top secret squirmy wormy material. If you don't know about that one, look that one up. The top secret squirmy wormy. That's over on the 406 Flyboys YouTube channel. Good stuff over there. All right, got to get our little hair wing. Look at that beautiful deer hair. That's some. Um, Beautiful stuff. Let's go ahead and just take a clump of that. Give that a trim. All right, and uh, like always, let's go ahead and clean out our hair. I have no idea why that bedinged at me. It usually never bedings at me. Crazy! Alright, let's go ahead and I don't... I don't know what I'd do with my small hair stacker. I got my big ones. Those are all handy. But I'm looking for my small hair stacker. Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna cut out, but if it cuts out, we'll be back. Um, because we will persevere. There we go. There's my little small hair stacker. So we're gonna put our hair in tips down in our little hair stacker here. Line up these tips as the best we can. Beautiful. All right, this is going to be a little underwing. Set this in. We'll give that a nice tie-in. Work my way forward a little bit. And work my way back a little bit. Zoom in. Yeah, my connection is... Being a pain in the doofus. Yeah, that's frustrating. It's really frustrating. I am losing a lot of confidence uh, with it, 
YouTube here and their live streaming ability. All right, let's pop our balloon over. Oh, we broke our thread. 70 denier. Mm, mm. That's what I get. Pulling on it like it's four times as thick. I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. I'm shocked. What do you want? You want bumblebee stuff? No. Well, what are you looking for? I can tell you exactly what you're looking for. Do you want some yellow yarn? Yes. No. Yellow chenille? We, whoever said the yellow bumblebee, thank you. We got Jess shopping here for chenille now. She's going to tie herself a bumblebee of sorts. Well, it wasn't for that. But... Oh, it wasn't for that. Oh, you got to hi, Jess. Hi. So if you guys don't know, Jess is quite the fly angler herself. She has been... Learning to tie flies and fly fish. Uh, brand new into it. Having a lot of fun. And she's really looking forward to just learning and catching a lot of fish. She definitely out catches me. Would you agree? Sometimes. Sometimes. Most. Sometimes. <laughs> most of the time. All right, so this one's getting kind of haywire, kind of sloppy, but that was our first try. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee, tuna. I love bumblebee, bumblebee, tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee, tuna. Love a sandwich made with bumblebee. You betcha. Boy, this thread has got me kind of nervous. I think it might have had a nick or something. I just came across a real big weak spot. We're going to change threads. That made me mad and it made me sad. All right, let's go ahead and just give this a big haircut. We'll just take that all back. About there. And give it the butch. Maybe we need to trade out scissors. Trade out scissors. Yeah, okay, so this next one is going to be a lot better. Because we're not going to monkey around with some thread popping and busting. But that's, that's pretty good for a first attempt. That was, hey guys, that was my first attempt. What do you guys think? No. Let's keep a working on it. Keep a working on it. I like that. And the next one, I did grab, I did grab some, uh, Legs. We are going to throw some rubber legs in there and see what we can come up with. Little black rubber legs. These are 14s. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm thinking panfish on these. Um, at least in my, in my neck of the woods, that's what I'm going to be using it for mostly is panfish. So let's switch out our thread to something a little bit more conducive to what we want. Mm. Let's go ahead. I got a little bit of this left. Let me use this up. This is just standard, plain Jane, run of the mill, twice as thick as the other stuff, but this is black. Let's go with a black 140 wax thread. I should do this a little bit better. We're almost to the end of that spool, so. We'll see. Hopefully we'll get the whole fly out of this one spool of thread.
way to find out. Don't you know there? So you're in Peoria. Panfish, sunfish, sunfish, redfish, bluefish, one fish, two fish. Oh. All right, let's give this a try. I'll we'll tie this in. Tie it in in the back. I like it. Bump that forward just a little bit. We'll get our dubbing on. Again, I'm using a dark brown Antron Hairs blend. Look at the sparkle in that. Look at the sparkle in that. Hey, Steve, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. We have a. Make our little dummy noodle. That's too much. Take about half of that off. I'm going to trim my tail and such down after I get my, my dubbing down. There we go. Now I'm remembering a little bit more. Because I did watch Gallup tie this um, a little bit earlier today. And fortunately, due to my brain, I don't necessarily remember all things all time. But I do remember this now. It's all, it's all coming back to me. How'd you do that, Kelly? Here we go. I like it. I like it. All right, hair wing. Hair wing. Hey, we got Mary, 406 Mary. Mary and I were tying flies together earlier. She was working on some leeches, and I was cranking out zebra midges. All right, let's go ahead and clear this hair out. First, I come at it with my brush. And then we'll comb it. I like that. Let's go ahead and run this through our hair stacker. Get these tips aligned. Nope, I do not have the double IG yet. No double double. I wonder I wonder if I could probably I don't know maybe we could see about hooking up my uh, iPad my iPod up and we'll just have that in the background I feel like I just have way too much let's thin this out just a little bit And I'm, I'm literally I'm going to take about half as much out of that stack. There we go. Josh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in, brother. That did not work how I wanted it. I 
I know I need to start up front, crank down on it, and work my way back. Take that underwing full length. Here we go. We'll fold our little balloon back. That's not bad. Or maybe before I fold the balloon back, 